Hey guys, what's up? I'm David. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my new build. This is a 3 inch sub 250 gram freestyle build. And I can hear you thinking what's so special about that. There's a lot of sub 250 3 inch builds right now. You can just buy off the shelf. Well, I actually had some big demands for it. First of all, it's freestyle. So I wanted it to have a beefy frame. It needed to have big motors. I wanted a digital VTX and a crossfire receiver because I do not fly with the DJI controller. And of course, it had to be under that 250 gram level. How did I do this and which components did I use? Well, stay tuned and you're gonna find out. All of the components I used in this build are in the description below with affiliate links. If you buy something from them, you will help my channel out. This will not cost you anything. I will just get a small commission and I would be very grateful. Let's dive into it. The frame is the LAL. It's from Ishii. It's advertised as 37.7 grams. It normally has a very, very big TPU part on the front here, which holds the camera and also protects it. And that's one of the reasons why I bought it. But after assembling it, I noticed it was actually quite a bit heavier than the advertised weight. Mine came in at 41 grams, almost 42 grams. The TPU camera mount by itself weighed four to five grams. So I started cutting it down and let's zoom in closer here. And this is actually all that's left of it. Just enough to mount a camera. Normally the camera mount is in front of this post. So the camera sits a little bit more to the front of the frame. I cut these parts down. I melted an extra hole in the TPU so I could mount the camera as close to the post as possible and it sits further back in the frame right now which means my camera now is protected by the carbon instead of a tpu part this frame has three millimeter arms it's a unibody which will make replacing your frame if you break an arm a bit of a hassle but i don't think you're gonna break an arm that easily it's a very strong frame it doesn't really flex I'm using a lot of force here and it barely moves. And because this drone weighs only 250 grams or a little bit less, we'll get into the weight a little bit later. I don't think it's gonna break easily. I've crashed it a number of times and yeah, nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's rock solid. Next up, we got the motors. These motors are the T motor F1507 motors. They're advertised as cinematic motors. And to be honest, I was just looking for big motors because I wanted torque and a lot of power. These motors are actually the lightest motors I came across in this size. These are advertised as 15 gram per motor with a full length motor wire, which is 10 centimeters. And as you can see, you don't really need 10 centimeters. I think this is about maybe seven centimeters. So you cut off three centimeters per motor, total of 12 centimeters, which also saves you a couple of grams. I've already made a video about them because I think they are extremely good their build quality is top-notch, as you can expect from a T-motor. They have a lot of torque and their power is very linear, which makes it easy to control your quad. There are faster motors out there if you want it raw top speed. This maybe is not the one for you to get, but for freestyle, yeah, it's, it's an amazing motor. And if you're interested in how they fly, check out my last video you can find up there in the corner. I'll put the link to it to the review of the T-Motor F1507s. Let's take the top blade off and check out the other components. FC is the Beta FPV F722 2 to 6S all-in-one toothpick board. I chose it because it's light, it's got an F7 and it's got the DJI connector, so which makes it very easy to connect a DJI module into it. The ESCs are 35 amps, so they can easily handle the big motors you put onto it. It's mounted onto the frame with a 3D printed TPU adapter that goes from 20 to 20 to a toothpick style mounting. I found this print on, on the TMAC site. He also has a very good YouTube channel. Check out TMAC if you never heard of him. He got very good videos and you'll learn a lot from them. Yeah, kind of like Joshua Bart. Because of this adapter, there's a big hole under this FC. I thought, hey, that's the ideal place to put the receiver. So my Crossfire Nano receiver is underneath my FC board. You can see the wire sticking out right there. I've placed my antennas like this in between the arms, so they're a bit protected. This is not an ideal setup to get maximum range, but you get enough range with Crossfire. This build is not intended to go very, very far out. I wanted the antennas to be 
away from the VTX and be protected. So yeah. Next up, we got our VTX. This is a Cadex Nebula Pro. Nebula Pro camera in the front here. And in the back, we got a DJI Cadex Vista module, which I decased. So this is a naked Cadex Vista. It's actually pretty easy to decase it. I think it's only eight screws and you can take it apart. You just got to be very careful because there is a ribbon cable connecting the two boards. And when taking your, your Vista apart, make sure you don't damage the ribbon cable that's actually the most brittle part of the entire thing you can easily clean off the uh, thermal paste with some isopropyl alcohol and a toothbrush if you can see the fc is shining and this is also shining that's because i nail polish everything to waterproof it somewhat and i used antenna glue to keep the ribbon cable in place even in hard crashes it doesn't come loose i've put a true rc antenna onto it this is an antenna especially for dji a left hand polarized antenna i chose this one because it's a little bit lighter than a dji antenna it's got practically the same image quality Quality. So the way that I save with this antenna was worth it to me. It's held under just with a, a shrink tube. I wrapped it around the post and I shrunk it down. So yeah, it can move and it hasn't broken so far. So after putting it together and with the battery strap and everything, a battery on top of it, I use the 850 Tattoo R line batteries, by the way. And with the lightest props I could find, these are the HQ 3x3x3 props. I came in at 250.5 grams that's just on the limit and i didn't really want that i wanted it to be a bit lighter because i wanted to have the option to choose which props i wanted to fly with and not just be limited to one prop so i started looking for other ways to shed some weight i looked to the nuts which was the only place i could still lose weight without making some big compromises i weighed all my screws in my entire build and they came in at eight grams and a bit. I don't know how much I'll put it on screen. And I thought maybe I could replace this with titanium ones. So I started looking for a shop that sold titanium bolts. And I actually found one where I could buy these bolts in the length and the size I wanted a piece. I didn't have to buy them in bulk. This wasn't cheap, I think 55 euros. I thought I would be saving two to three grams on my build by replacing all those all those screws but i actually ended up with shedding about four grams of weight because the heads i i believe this is because the heads are smaller the length of each crew is exactly the same as the original ones but the heads are smaller so yeah that was an instant four gram weight reduction which was awesome because that meant I had the option to run every prop I wanted to even change out the antenna if I wanted to use a better one. And I got my build down to the weight I wanted, which was, I believe, 146 grams with the lightest propellers I had. So guys, there you have it. That's my 3-inch Freestyle Sub 250 build. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll put some screenshots of my beta flight settings and my pits at the end of the video. I haven't really completed the pit tuning yet. I'm, I'm not the best pit tuner in the world and some drones I can pit tune very easily and some drones just take a whole lot of time to get right. So I haven't finalized tuning it yet. I'll put my pits up but just so you know they could be better. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.